sad. Now, usually when you break up with someone, that is it. And if you're breaking up in adulthood, it could mean having to find a new place to live. Like you're not gonna wanna stick around and move into the guest room and then potentially have like those awkward moments where maybe you run into each other when it's time to brush your teeth. Was it a bad breakup? Are there any other kinds? Oklahoma and Texas, they have broken up with the Big 12, yet they're currently living in the guest room. And Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy says he's not digging having to share the toothpaste anymore. Why are they allowed in Big 12 business meetings? Gundy says it's interesting, that is a quote, and they're likely taking notes to help them once they get to the SEC. For more, here's Heather Dennett. Here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, incoming Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark spoke publicly to reporters for the first time, and he addressed the elephant in the room, which is the ongoing conversations about further conference realignment. Here's what Yormark had to say. We're exploring all options, and we're open for business. And optionality is good, and we're vetting through all of them. I think it's fair to say I've received a lot of phone calls, a lot of interest. People understand the direction of the Big 12. And we're exploring those levels of interest. Nothing is imminent, but we're working hard to make sure that we position the Big 12 in the best possible way on a go forward basis. I spoke with your Mark one on one afterwards and asked him about the timing of all of these possible moves and he said it's fluid. No one really knows, but they are talking with key stakeholders daily. He said if something makes sense at the right time, we'll make the move or not. One source in the Pac-12 told me one reason for all the holdups in these conversations is that nobody is able to tell them what the bottom line is as far as how much money each school will make in the Big 12 or in the Pac-12. That's because these TV deals aren't done yet for either conference. Until they know that number, it's going to be difficult for anyone to make a decision of such magnitude. The Big 12 is going to look different next season. BYU, UCF, Cincinnati, Houston, they are joining Oklahoma and Texans, uh, Texas. They're off to the SEC sometime before 2025. Also, I would like to grow up and use optionality in a sentence. And that's my goal for one of the big Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.